Hello. I would like to show a new experimental feature that we might release behind the feature flag. And this is um, compliance pipeline for security policies. So the idea is that we can define a custom uh, CI YAML within our security policy. And for this example, I have a um, simple Ruby application here that uh, has a test. And it also has a um, CI file which runs a pipeline. And basically it just runs runs the tests and um, uh, should report coverage. Um, so coverage is at 100%, but for this example, we're doing a little bit uh, a simple thing. So I have a coverage file here, which says 100%. And we assume this is the artifact and we can assume the test coverage based on that. So now we want to um, have a security policy that makes sure for all projects in my group, we um, ensure they all have 100% test coverage. So I can create a security policy here in my group. And this will be a um, scan execution policy. say uh, ensure test coverage and it should run with on on all branches or we can just say make uh, default branches because it doesn't really make sense to have 100% test coverage on all the branches but on the default branch we want to have that um, so there this is not yet in the UI editor so we have to switch to YAML mode And we can now um, instead, or for, for the action, we can now say um, CI configuration. And then this will be a string. And we can just have like a, um, yeah, like a job. Let's call it ensure full coverage. And the stage will be post because we want to make sure it runs after the rest of the pipeline. And um, then we'll have a script here that I will copy. That fails the job if the coverage artifact doesn't say 100%. So there's something wrong here. Um, I should write the full try. Okay, it seems like I read something wrong. All right, yeah, this has to be. And then one more. And we'll, like this, like. Okay, so hope this looks better. Okay, let's merge it. And we go back to our Ruby application project and run a pipeline. So now we can see it has the um, full coverage job and post. And this should run after the test is done and then fetch the artifact, which is in our case, like more of a mock artifact. But we can try to see well, what happens if we have less test coverage? OK. 
Okay, one drop is done. Let's see what the other does. Right, so this succeeded because we have uh, full test coverage. And let's say I'm just adding uh, editing this file now and change it to 60. Start a new merge request for this. Now we see this only has one stage because this is not the default uh, uh, branch. Once I merge this into the default branch, it should have the, the other test as well. All right, so we can merge this because this passed. I think it actually makes more sense to have run it on all the branches because then we prevent merging things that don't have full test coverage. So let's go back to the policy. Oh, can't edit it here because it's a group level policy. So I have to go to the group and the policy. And then um, yeah, let's remove this for now so we can see the editor and say for all branches. Okay, type all, that's the one all we want. And actions is this. And something's wrong again. Right. Okay, I hope I didn't mess it up now. Let's see. All right, let's go back to our application. And then we can trigger a new pipeline for our test branch. And it has the other job. So this should fail and um, we shouldn't be able to merge this merge request because it doesn't have full test coverage. Let's wait for the, for the job to complete. Yes, so test coverage fail. We could also now manually include things like um, like for example, secret detection. So we can, um, oh wait, let's go through the editor. So usually we could define an action and say this should be a secret detection, but we can also now go 
the um, manual way and include it like this. Actually, um, let's make this a, oh wait, we can, I think we can just do this. then running a pipeline here should trigger a secret detection job. Right, there we go. So there are some, some limitations to this. Um, the CI from the security policy project gets merged into the project CI. That means the project can override anything. Like we can, um, if you would add a job here and name it secret detection, then it would override the actual secret detection job. Uh, same goes for CI variables. And um, yeah, I think we can explore different ways to solve this problem. We could switch it the other way around that security policies can only can override projects job, but not the other, other way around. Um, or maybe just limit the security policy to some, some stages that are reserved just for security policy pipelines. And so we don't conflict with project CIs. Um, but I hope this feature might be useful for someone and we can explore this and see if this is something we could um, invest in the future and build more things on. Thanks for watching.